everybody video here for you today i haven't made an egypt video for a long time and i guess you could call this one a pre-egypt video the site we're going to be talking about is just over the border into present day sudan but we have a lot of uh, sites that are egyptian that come into present day sudan today so you could call this an ancient egypt video this place is about 175 miles south of aswan and let's go down there today this place is called Jebel Sahaba and it's underwater and it's right down here. I have made videos on a few sites in northern Sudan. I have talked about Jebel Barkel and Cobra Mountain and the star that fell, a sacred mountain down here in northern Sudan today. I've also made some videos on the pyramids but this site that I'm talking about today was submerged after dam construction but let's just go to a few articles because this is pretty important because there is warfare victims in a cemetery they found that go back 13,400 years. This story first surfaced, I think about seven years ago, but it wasn't widely reported on. But here, this story comes from just a few weeks ago. It says, archeologists unearth war victims from 13,000 years ago in Sudan. It says, the double burial of individuals identified as JS-20 in JS-21 from among the 13,400 year old Jebel Sahaba remains. Some of the earliest evidence of human warfare with pencils marking positions associated with stone artifacts. So that is very interesting in 13,400 years ago. Well, here is evidence of people and warfare. So there had to be some sort of civilization and this is before the Younger Dryas, 13,400 years ago. So that's pretty important if you ask me. It says even tens of millennia ago, humanity struggled with the impacts and ravages of war. And this has been exemplified once again recently as archaeological excavations revealed battered bodies buried in a cemetery at one of the world's oldest sites showing human warfare, proving all was not well among the people who inhabited the east bank of the Nile River in northern Sudan some 13,400 years ago. It says researchers said on Thursday, a re-examination of the remains from Jebel Sahaba Cemetery excavated in the 1960s provides new insights into this prehistoric bloodshed, including evidence that there had been a succession of violent encounters rather than a single deadly showdown as previously believed. Now I will leave a few links below, but here is a look back into the 1960s when they were doing excavation here before the dam was finished. Fred Wendorf led the archaeological crew. It says, of the skeletal remains of 61 men, women, and children, 41 bore signs of at least one injury, mainly from projectile weapons, including spears and arrows. Some wounds had healed, indicating the person survived the fighting. So that is very interesting. It says 16 of them had both healed and unhealed wounds, indicating they survived one fight only to die in another. A microscopic examination identified wounds with the remnants of stone weapons embedded in the bone. The original 1960s analysis had identified only 20 people with wounds and none with healed injuries. So reanalysis of this excavation done in the 1960s has proven some, proven out to be pretty important a lot of new finds here. Here is the original story coming from 2014, The Skeletons at Jebel Sahaba. This comes from archaeology.org, and I will leave the link below. It says the skeletal material is one of great importance, not only because of the evidence for conflict, but because the Jebel Sahaba Cemetery is the oldest discovered in the Nile Valley so far. And how many people have heard about this? You know, people say, well, Egyptian civilization didn't get going until maybe about 5,000 years ago. I know we have pre-dynastic stuff, five, maybe 6,000 years ago, but here is evidence of civilization over 13,000 years ago in the Nile Valley. Is it, is it that ludicrous to say the Sphinx might've been built 12,000, 11,000 years ago? Well, I don't think so, not at all. But just finishing this article from 2014, it says the new research indicates that the men, women, and children have been killed by enemy archers over time during the drought of the Younger Dryas period. And that would have been right before the Younger Dryas period, if you want to be specific. It said the victims are said to be from the world's oldest known large-scale 
armed conflict. So they even say it's large scale. So civilization was going on here over 13,000 years ago on the shore of the Nile. So I just thought that was a pretty important one to report on. Here is the little bit they have on Wikipedia. You notice here on the map, it's right on the border of Egypt and Sudan today, but present borders don't mean a thing. When you're looking at ancient history, it says Jebel Sahaba, Mountain of the Companions, is how it is translated, now submerged in Lake Nasser. It is associated with the Quadden culture, dated to the Younger Dryas some 12,000 to 15,000 years ago. So that is very interesting, this place. Large cemetery, there was large scale warfare civilization seemed to be going 13,400 years ago minimum I mean at least that far back on the banks of the Nile in an, in what is very very southern Egypt and northern Sudan today I just think this was a very interesting story when putting the pieces together of ancient Egypt well you gotta be thorough look at everything you possibly can this site needed to be included so I hope you thought that was interesting I'm gonna wrap her up but that is the culture, the Quaden culture, Quaden culture, whatever you want to call it. Going back before the Younger Dryas in Egypt, hope you thought that was interesting and you all have a very nice day.